Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to the awakening. Now today is 44, awakening number 44. And I was thinking to myself, why did I start doing the awakening? 44 days ago, I started doing it. Because initially I was putting on um, posts and messages on Facebook Live and I was doing meditations with you guys to help you to get through, to help you stay calm, to help you negotiate whatever's going on. No, none of us know what's going on. Um, and I felt like, you know, that was good for me to do. It was, it was a job. <laughs> it was a job for me to do for the human race. And then they took me off, remember? They blocked me. Uh, they, I couldn't, I can't do live for another probably 30 days, I think. And I thought, right, I'll do it on Moving on TV. I'll resurrect Moving on TV and I'll do an awakening every day. And it became very powerful. And I was ho I'm hoping that I'm passing on information to help you, to take you from the dark into the light. And today, um, I want to talk to you about using the opportunities of what's going on with the energies, um, the lockdown. Let's face it, there's so much going on use the opportunities in order to let everything come up whatever that is let it come up and today i want to talk about your childhoods a little bit and traumatize people like myself um who things are triggering us at the moment and i want you to know that it's okay if you feel that something's coming back from your childhood, like um, with me, <laughs> I climbed into the linen cabinet and sat there crying for hours, just feeling like a child that was in an air raid shelter. Feelings that we never felt ever are resurfacing now. And it's okay. It's okay for that to happen. You know, when you're a child, a lot of the time you're told not to feel those feelings, you bottle them up, or you just get on with it. But now, the way we're living, it feels like there's a swirl going on. That's what it feels to me like an, as an empath. There's a swirl that's going on in our world. I don't know about you, like something is swirling around, and it's waking everything up. And the same with us. So those parts of us that, are, that went to sleep because we were told to go to sleep because mummy and daddy were tired or because with me it was war. Um, and I just ate over it. I just covered it up with food. I'll tell you about the incident now, which came up for me today. And um, I, I, I literally, I went to bed and I woke up with it. <laughs> and I, I literally climbed into the linen cabinet, curled up into a little ball and started crying my eyes out. And I, I realized that that linen cabinet had lots of white on it, like white walls, which is the same as the air raid shelter that I had been put into on my own. Um, I was about, 13, I think, 14, and I was put into an air raid shelter on my own. Mom and dad were in the synagogue. It was Yom Kippur. And my sister was with them. And I woke up to sirens and to a war. And the fear, and I was on my own. So the neighbors, um, I ran down, we, we used to live in a flat. And there was door, a door, and that was the area shelter downstairs. And so I went with strangers into the area shelter, not knowing whether I would see my mother and father and my sister ever again. It was a war. There were sirens. 
and I never dealt with it because the minute the Yom Kippur fast was over, I stuffed it down with food and I never stopped stuffing it down with food. So do you see, so today it came up. And I'm just saying to you, I was very lucky because someone was with me and he was very kind. And, and he let me cry and he held me and I felt like the tiny child again. And that's how I healed in, with Simply Amazing in the book. That's how I healed the trauma of an abused child, by letting it all come out. But you give, have to give yourself a chance to feel it. So to me, the drills that were going on and the noise had me sitting in the bath, literally, like a tiny child, feeling and feeling and feeling the sirens and the planes going over and feeling alone in the, this air raid shelter, except I didn't know what it was. I didn't realize that I thought it was the moment, but it wasn't. You see, Course in Miracles says you're never upset for the reason you think. So let yourself feel, you need, you need to give yourself a chance now to go into a space where it's safe. It's okay to let the feelings come up. It's okay to feel what you need to feel. And you know, that's what I did. I gave myself a chance to feel, to really feel, to feel the real emotions of what it felt like to be a young teenager in an air raid shelter alone, not knowing whether I'd see mom and dad again. There was a possibility I would never see them again. War. And it was a serious war, we found out. But what I'm saying is it's not about that war. That war is an identity, it's a trauma, and I am traumatized because of it. What's your tra trauma? Can you let it come up? If you're watching something and the trigger comes, boom. Instead of um, running away from it. I got so tired, I went to bed and there it was. I didn't realize what it was until I climbed into the cabinet <laughs> and sat there crying like a baby didn't realize what it was so let your intelligence guide you i'm a great believer in the only way to heal is by feeling because i've seen it work time and time again in my life in particular in the community when i felt the feelings the real feelings of being a child going through what I went through. And the minute I was able to do that, I was able to access the feelings, the pain. I will put on two awake blonde so you can see. I talked to Angie about it. She asked me questions about trauma, trauma and childhood. So what I'm saying to you today, the awakening, I, I couldn't have done an awakening until I realized that those drills and that noise that that neighbor created were just a manifestation of something that wanted to come out of me. Something that couldn't function because it never had a chance to feel. So what I'm saying to you is, when you get triggered now, let it come up. Don't run away from it. Don't eat, drink, smoke, put on, you know, just, Bring it up. And the way I brought it up today was with singing. I gave myself a chance to sing, remember? Funnily enough, I started singing all my opera scales and really let go and let myself sing through the house. And they stopped. <laughs> the builders couldn't chat. They couldn't cope with the opera. And they stopped. But so it stopped. But it still didn't feel well. I got really tired, went to bed. And there it was, climbed into the airing cupboard and felt, felt, really felt. I knew there was something was going on with me. It's not normal to go into 
trauma when someone does a bit of banging or uses a drill. But I did say to you guys that because we've been locked up for months now, you've got to be aware that you're going to have stuff coming up for you all over the place. And I, as an empath, I feel a swirl at the moment. I don't know about you, but it feels like there's this swirl of energy. Energy is swirling around us like that. Like something has opened and it's swirling everywhere, swirling around. And so you're going to get caught up in it. And if you feel it, call me or PM me. If you think that you're going through something similar, because I'm, I'm relatively calm now, or else I couldn't do this. I'm doing an awakening. So what I'm saying is, honor that child, honor your feelings, honor yourself. Honor yourself and give yourself a chance to feel. Honor the feelings, honor that little child. Give yourself a chance to feel, to really feel. In a way, by looking like this today, this is how I was when I was 13. My hair was this color, more or less. I had long hair. It's strange that that part of me wanted to feel what it was to be that child a little bit more in order to honor her. Honor that child inside you. Honor that trauma, honor it because it's coming up. It's coming up. And if everyone gave themselves a chance to honor the trauma and the child and the pain, then we have got, you know, things will get better. Things will get better. It's confusing. It's all mirrored. <laughs> honor that child. Give her a chance to come up because then you heal. And the chances are that if the noise starts tomorrow, I'm not going to feel as traumatized. I'll know what it is. I'll say, okay, it's Lauren in an air raid shelter. The young people wore on her own with strangers, not knowing whether she's going to see her mum and dad and sister again. That's it. It's not Lauren, the adult, the healer, the enlightened one who runs moving on TV. It's a child, a teenager. And you cannot deny that part of you. Don't deny that part of you. Love and honor. That part of you is saying, I'm here now. I'm prepared to show myself because I want you to be happy now. I don't want you to fight. Do you understand? And when you honor that part of you, see, I don't agree with people that say don't honor that part of you. Cry, scream, laugh, dance, sing but feel her. Don't run away. Feel, feel, feel. <laughs> and there is a swirl going around at the moment. I feel a swirl. I don't know about you, but I feel a swirl of energy. And we're going to feel it. You're going to feel this, 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 this um, vortex. And it's going to bring everything up. That's what it's there for, to heal you so you can go out and do your healing. My life will come together the way I want it to when that part, those parts of me are integrated. And so that little part has got a, a voice to express ourselves because the neighbors were just bringing it up. They gave me a gift. Everyone who pushed and pushed and triggered me gave me a gift. This is a different way of looking at it. Honor everything that's happening in the world. Honor what's happening to you because it's bringing everything up. That's how I see it. And now I'm going to do a card from how to stay sane in a crazy world. Because once I recovered in the therapeutic community, 
and it's all in Simply Amazing, chapter eight, the book. You can get that from the um, Nashton Lane from the Positivity Center. You can get it from me. Um, I, went, I was in a wheelchair, I had a serious accident when dad died. And then I did the cards, how to stay sane in a crazy world. If your little child never got the love it deserved, she deserved or he deserved, this is the time to honor her and say, I hear you, I see you, thank you. Now is your opportunity to let it all come up. Scream it out, cry it out, but never let it stay in there. Do tapping. I've been doing a lot of tapping and that's probably why this has happened. So in a way, what manifests outside of you is what's inside of you calling for love. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. And the minute you come to terms with that, you'll be well. The same way I recovered in the therapeutic community. So I'm really power. This is a powerful awakening today. This is awakening coming from a different place of love and, and shift as they call it, once you've been in that vortex and you're able to understand. I look like her. I look like the little Lauren, the little Israeli Lauren. And that's okay to look like her. As I say, honor her. She has a right to be heard. She never got heard, never got dealt with. It all got pushed down with food and all the other stuff. Honor her. She's come up today, it's taken her long enough. You honor your little boy, your little girl, honor them. Don't push them down and give yourself heart attack and give yourself high blood pressure and all these terrible dis, dis eases. All, it, all a dis ease is, is something inside you trying to be free. Something inside you begging you to say, I see you're there something inside you that is begging to be expressed in some way. I proved it again today. I proved it lots of times. When I found out about my twin that I lost in my mom, I was supposed to be a twin and my twin died. I know who that energy is. And I do a lot of work around that person with me, with that energy, but I was supposed to be a twin. And my brother died before me. And I didn't know that until a huge trauma happened to me. And I went inside and I found that I was a twin. So now I'm telling you, I'm a teacher. I can teach you that now. Today, oh my God, no to yourself. These cards are synchronistic, I told you. Today I will give myself some nurturing. I went to bed today. I went to bed and then I climbed into the closet and the washing machine cabinet is very small, just needed to be in there, in that atmosphere in order to bring up the air raid shelter and it came up. Now, it'd be interesting tomorrow if they start doing the same again, whether I will be able to function and cope with it differently. We'll see. Today, I will give myself some nurturing by listing the things that I enjoy doing and trying to do at least one. This is what I love. I love talking to you. I love helping you. I love passing on the wisdom that I get through honoring that part of me, not pushing that part down. But you cannot do that unless you know. And so if you need any more help, contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. I will help you to get in touch with that part of you. I will help you to honor that part of you that needs honoring. I will help you. And I'm going to do a message from heaven for you, from your loved one. This is a very powerful, the powerful messages by Jackie Newcomb. Messages from heaven. Right. This is the message from heaven for me today and for you. If you're watching, this is what your loved ones want you to know. First of all, you are called to nurture yourself. So take some time out. 
do something you love and sit and meditate and understand it's all coming up and you can't get away with it anymore. If you want to be a light worker, a healer, if you want to move on into the fifth dimension, if you want to be part of the ascension, you're going to need to feel. You'll see it in others, but you won't be able to see it in yourself. The minute you see it in others, it means somewhere it's something in you that is not working. You see, so it's, it's a bit like we see it in others. We see that issue in another person. And if we don't want to heal ourselves, we won't see it in ourselves. If I see, oh my God, I got the same card again. Isn't that weird? Yesterday was the same. Spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. Transformation, love, messages from heaven. I'm going to read the message in the book. I never do that, but today I will. It is number 13 today. Spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. Don't hold back. You are capable of so much. Reach your full potential and know your loved ones will be delighted at your achievements. Go for your goals. We too are excited about the success. The same again. If you're watching this, spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. That's the awakening for today. That's going to go on YouTube. <laughs> I've got it twice. We are proud of you, Lauren. We are proud of you, whoever watches this. Honor yourself. Nurture yourself. Honor your child that has been hurt and traumatized. Honor that identity that will come up because of the swirl of energy all over the place. It's a vortex. Honor yourself. Tomorrow is going to be exciting. I've got an interview tomorrow with Charlie Ward again. And I think at three o'clock. And he is amazing. He is full of positive energy and smiles. And he puts across an amazing message. So honor yourself today, my darlings. Honor yourself this evening if you're anywhere else. I love you. Namaste. And I'll get that on now. Bye.